Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and these are the all new spring 2024 iPhone 15 cases. I picked them up in a couple different varieties and these are the four new colors along with a couple watch bands that we have here. We'll take a look at them, unbox them, see how they fit the phone, what they look like and more. Now the first thing is these are $49 each. Each one of these is $49 separately. These are the silicone cases and this is the one that we have a little bit of a difference here where we have black text instead of white text but not a big change here, but we just have soft mint. We also have another one here of sunshine. Additionally, we have light blue and then we just have pink. So those are the four new silicone cases. The one thing we don't have so far are new fine woven cases. So I've never been a big fan of these. They replaced leather with it. Maybe they'll do something different, but either way they haven't replaced these with any new spring colors. So we just have four new silicone cases for any of the iPhone 15 models. They haven't released them for other devices, unfortunately. Now let's go ahead and unbox them. I've got two that are available for the iPhone 15 pro and then two for the 15 plus. Let's go ahead and open up the soft mint color. So all of them have the same sort of packaging. And this is the first time I'll see this. And we'll just take a look at what's in one of the boxes. And we just have a little warranty card that talks about how it has magnets, magnets in it for medical devices and more. You want to be careful with that. But you can see inside we have MagSafe. We have a little ring here that shows the little MagSafe cutout so that it will adhere to MagSafe accessories. The next one we have is Sunshine. All very nice pastel colors to go along with spring. We'll open this one up and you can see the yellow color here. It's a dark yellow or a deep yellow here. Again, same sort of lining and everything else. We'll take a closer look in just a moment. Next, let's take a look at the light blue version for the 15 plus. And this one looks fairly similar to what we might have already. So no huge differences here. And then finally we have the pink color iPhone case. So again, open this one up. You'll see what it looks like here. And again, we have that nice microfiber lining inside. Now on the side, we have buttons here like we had before that are silicone sort of pushed into the design of the case. We have cutouts for silent switches and then also buttons if we have an action button on a pro device. On the bottom, they've been covering the bottom of the phone for years, so that's nice that we have cutouts for the speakers and microphones and then our USB-C adapters. We've also got a little raised bump for the camera as well. Now let's go ahead and fit these on the device and see what it looks like. So first we'll start with the Pro here. So I have the Natural Titanium Pro and it fits on nicely, of course. Buttons are very tactile, no issues there whatsoever. And you can press the buttons without an issue. They feel very good. Not as good as maybe the fine woven case where we have sort of metal buttons. Those are a little bit nicer, but again, they protect the device overall. You do have a little bit of lay on the table protection around the front of the device also. Now let's take a look at the other case here, the Sunshine case on the 15 Pro. Just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Again, we have the yellow that pops up on the front. I'll show you that with the soft mitt in a moment. You have to be updated to iOS 17.4 for that to show. But again, if we put this one back on, there we go. It finally activated. It took me about five tries to get that to work. Now let's set these aside. We'll take a closer look at the blue and pink versions. Now here I have the 15 plus. Let's go ahead and place this on. Again, we've got the blue on the front. It looks pretty good with that very light blue. It's a nice thin case as well. And if you do have a screen protector like this phone has on it, again, it still provides additional protection. Let's place the pink one on here and then we'll take a closer look at the new watch bands. So here's what pink looks like. So again, it activates on the display. And again, you'll need iOS 17.4 for that to show up. And that's what it looks like when you have them on those individual devices. I think the blue really complements this one really nicely. Of course, if you had the pink iPhone, it would make a difference there. Now let's set these aside. And again, let's take a closer look at the new Apple watch bands. Now, again, the watch bands are about $50, $49. And I have the soft mint here, as well as the ocean blue sport loop. Apple also updated them as well with some of the new silicone bands also. So if we scroll down a little bit further, we have similar matching bands that we have for all of the different cases here with soft mint, light pink, light blue sunshine as well. So those are all new, but let's go ahead and open up the soft mint first. So this one here, open it up. So we have a little pull tab here 
There we are. Here's Soft Mint. Now I did get this one in the smaller size. Thought maybe my wife would want to use this. She likes the spring colors quite a bit. And again, you'll see here, if we unfold the box, we have 41 millimeter. So I have an older Apple watch here. This isn't my wife's. It was one that she used at some time, but let's go ahead and take this off. And then we can place the new band on the watch itself and gives you an idea of what it looks like. It's compatible with any of the smaller watch bands or smaller Apple watches rather. So that gives you an idea and I may have it on the wrong way, but either way that shows you what it looks like. It's a really nice look with a little yellow accent here and sort of darker green accents that hook into the device itself or the watch. Also, this is a new one where we have an ocean sport loop. So let's go ahead and open this one up and take a look. It's a really nice deep blue here. So if we take this out, you'll see we have some black accents at the top. We have an orange accent at the bottom where you actually tighten the band and then a black accent again. Let me go ahead and remove the band I have on my Apple Watch currently and see what it looks like. So we'll place this on my Apple Watch Ultra 2. This will also fit any of the larger Apple Watches, the Apple Watch Series 9. And if we place it on my wrist here, this gives you an idea of what it looks like. Now with the Apple Watch Ultra, I've already set some of the watch faces to the latest updates with WatchOS 10.4. And if we swipe through here, you'll see that we have the matching ones such as Sunshine, We've got the light mint green, as well as the new ocean blue that matches this band. And then we've got a couple others as well. So as we swipe through, we've got pink and then we have raspberry. So if you want to see how these actually match what we have on the Apple watch, this gives you an idea with the ocean band, but let me bring in the cases just so you can see side by side, how close the colors are. So maybe you aren't able to see these in person. Here's the mint side by side. So that gives you an idea of what mint looks like next to this. And I just swapped my watch band so it doesn't interfere with the color, but you'll see here's mint next to the mint case. Here's the sunshine color. So the case is actually a little bit lighter than what we have on the watch. Again, we have light blue. So let's swipe here again. Here's light blue, pretty close to what we get on the case. And if I go back to pink, keep going here, Here's pink next to the pink watch face. So that gives you an idea of the overall colors. As far as durability, they seem to hold up okay, but they're not phenomenal. Over time, they actually tend to wear out. Typically around the bottom of the device, they'll sort of get some abrasions here, especially if you're putting them in, maybe in an abrasive area, a tight jean pocket or something like that. Here's an older one where they are open on the bottom and they tend to wear out pretty badly. However, since they've been closed off, they actually seem to hold up a little bit better. So in general, they're okay. They're not phenomenal, but if they're only a couple months old and you're having issues and you have Apple care, sometimes Apple will replace them for you. Otherwise, a year later, you'll just need to replace it. So which one of the cases is your favorite this year? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below, or maybe you use a third party case. I'd love to hear about which one you use there as well. Of course, I'll link the wallpaper I showed in this video in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.